Tatiana, can you please introduce yourself? With pleasure. My name is Tatiana Doroné. I'm half French, half English. I'm the author of Sarah's Key, which was published last year at St. Martin's Press and which will soon be coming out in paperback. And I'm also a journalist for French L and French Psychologie magazine and the mother of two teenagers, which is also a full-time job. What is Sarah's Key about? Sarah's Key is the story of an American journalist called Julia Jarmond, who's been living in Paris for the past 20 years. She writes for an American magazine and she's married to a Frenchman. And her magazine asked her to write an article about an event she doesn't know much about. It's the 60 years anniversary of the Veldiv Roundup, which took place on July 16th, 1942 in occupied Paris. And once she starts her research concerning this terrible event, which involved uh, French police action hurting up thousands of Jewish families and children, she's so horrified and so upset by what happened that her inquest sort of takes a more personal nature and when she's trying to find out what exactly happened to these young children, she will open up a huge family secret which links her in-laws to uh, the fate of a little girl called Sarah and the two stories will meet together at one point in the book and Judah's life will be changed forever by what she discovers concerning Sarah. And so it's a book also about going back to those dark years but also the story of a woman who comes into her own and who will, I guess, through the, a hard way, find out more about herself and her family and her status in France as an American. Why did you write Sarah's Key? I wrote Sarah's Key because, as a French citizen, I was not taught at all at school about the Veldiv Roundup. I knew not much about it until Jacques Chirac's speech in 1995. And when I discovered the exact details of what happened that day and how those French children, those French Jewish children, were rounded up by the French police and what happened to them exactly, I too was so horrified and, and disgusted that I wanted to write about this, but I didn't want to write a historical book. I wanted to write a book more about a woman of today finding out about what happened in the past and showing the traumas and taboos that this event still leaves today. And when I started writing this novel, um, I didn't realize uh, just how far this trip would take me. And uh, I'd like to say that writing this book has changed a lot of things for me. And what kind of responses have you gotten since writing this book? Well, first of all, I've been getting the most amazing email um, from all over the world because this book has been published in several countries. So the, the responses have been um, very emotional and especially letters and photos from survivors of this roundup. Um, I, have, I have met them and I think those are moments that I will never forget. I'm also impressed by the impact that my book is having on teenagers. I didn't realize when I wrote this book that they would be interested in this at all. And it's been having a, a, a large readership in France and in England and in America. And I'm very happy about that. And um, I'd just like to say that I'm very happy to be part of this organization and I'm sad I can't be here to talk about my book to all of you. And um, I hope that you will enjoy it and that you will send me some feedback. Thank you very much.